So taking place then on the 1st and 2nd of November, the UK government has set out its ambitions for an AI safety summit taking place at Bletchley Park, of all places. So Mark Llewellyn Slade is on hand to support the urgent call out for frontier tech experts in the Lords and how people can apply to the House of Lords as well through Awards Intelligence. So he's the founder and CEO of Awards Intelligence. So Mark, what sort of people are they looking for then? What do people need on their CV for this? Well, they, they need to be at the top of their game. They need to be experts. They need to be leaders in their field. Um, they need to be at the cutting edge of this stuff. And you can't really be a tech expert and ha- having retired, say, even six or 12 months ago, you, you need to be active in the tech world today. You need to be sweating it right now. Um, Otherwise, if you're out of it for a few months, you're you're no longer an expert. So these people will no doubt have full-time jobs at the cutting edge of Frontier Tech, and that will enable them to have their finger completely and utterly on the pulse and be able to contribute to the drafting of of effective legislation that's going to control the direction of all this amazing technology that's coming through. Yeah, because that's the thing. Like you mentioned, artificial intelligence, AI, uh, crypto, blockchain, virtual reality, cybersecurity, all these words are relatively new, aren't they, in the grand scheme of things? Only in the past couple of years, they've really come to kind of the forefront. So with that, you do get the bad guys, as you say, as well. So it's about keeping them out, isn't it? Absolutely. And, um, you know, the Prime Minister has said that he wants to um, host this global summit that's happening this week at Bletchley Park. He has also said he wants Britain to be a global leader when it comes to frontier tech regulation. Um, But we can't be global leaders if we are not creating the the laws, the legislation that is going to protect firstly the people of this country, um, but then will enable us to take this, as I say, to other countries, to America, to China, to India, across the world, across the globe. We need to take this legislation, offer it to other countries, We have a great history in in Britain of of, um, uh, other countries adopting our laws. Um, So um, I don't think it will come to us any surprise um, if we're offering this cutting edge uh, legislation to the rest of the world. Um, And we need them to to take it on board because as I say, the bad guys will just move somewhere where it's legal otherwise. So um, it's not good enough just for Britain or or just a few countries to be doing this. We need to be united in this, which is why the Prime Minister, no doubt, is hosting this global summit this week. Yeah, tell me more about it then. So it's the AI Safety Summit. It's happening on the 1st and 2nd of November. That's Wednesday and Thursday this week. What kind of things are going to be happening then? What's going to be discussed? Well, I think they're going to be discussing how they can put in place um, laws and safeguards to ensure that um, that this stuff, this frontier tech, is heading in the right direction and being used in the right way um, uh, to, to, to ensure that it benefits mankind rather than it being used by, by the bad guys to, to, to make money uh, illegally, um, you know, the, the implications of, of some of this stuff going wrong are huge, whether it's, it's uh, you know, major league cybercrime or whether it's, um, you know, horrible things being done around virtual reality, for example. Um, and let's face it, we can't even manage our kids doing their homework on chat GPT at the end of the day. Um, And that alone may well change the face of education over the next few years, whether it's school or university level. So, um, you know, these are the size of some of the issues facing the governments of the world at the moment. So who's going to be in attendance then at the summit? 
Oh, um, various world leaders, I'm told. I, I think they're probably keeping the details under wraps, not only um, to, to add a bit of pizzazz to it, um, but also for, for security reasons. I don't think they want to advertise exactly who's turning up and, and when and how and from where. Um, so we'll find out uh, over the next few days. And uh, not only will it be senior politicians from around the world, but there'll also be leaders from some of our, our cutting edge uh, tech companies as well. So it really will be a gathering of the great and the good uh, in this sector. And I've no doubt that it will lead to some very serious changes and improvements to, to the way uh, we're managing this really exciting period in, in our lives. Yeah, I guess it's probably quite wise not to reveal all the details of this beforehand, given the nature of discussion. But Bletchley Park itself, I mean, obviously made a bit of a name for itself in World War Two with Alan Turing and the likes and all the code breakers. What's it used for these days? Um, I'm not too sure. It's probably a big secret. Perhaps, perhaps, <laughs> perhaps there's still a bit of that code breaking malarkey going on. Who knows? But yeah. uh, I think it's quite apt that it's it's the venue for for this uh, cutting edge uh, tech summit. Um, I can't think of, of a better place to be having an event um, like this. So uh, yeah, well well done to the government for, for picking a great venue for this one. <laughs> yeah, given the history, it kind of works well, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> so Mark, how do people kind of get in touch with yourselves or apply to the House of Lords then? What would be the next step from them possibly hearing this now and thinking, oh, you know what, I feel like I should get involved with this? Uh, we'll go on to awardsintelligence.co.uk um, and read around uh, the little more. We, we have a, a, a whole section on how to apply to the House of Lords as well as how to make a nomination for a royal honour as well, like an OBE or a knighthood, for example. So read around the subject. And then um, if you think you are a serious contender or, or might be a serious contender for the House of Lords and would like a free, honest assessment of, of your chances of becoming a, a peer, um, then uh, email us or give us a call um, and we will happily set up that free assessment for you with one of our expert team and we can take it from there excellent stuff mark thank you so much for your time have a nice evening and we'll catch up very soon you're welcome sir take care thank you george